When you fall in love with the idea of helping someone else, I guarantee you the universe will reward you. Click on the button and get involved in Six Minutes to Success. I've been doing it for a long time. It's helped me earn millions of dollars, build a wonderful company, and it'll help you do exactly the same. Waddles points out it's a natural law that like causes always produce like effects. Do you know all I was doing? All I was doing was helping other people earn the money I was earning. I was helping them by showing them what I was doing. I was absolutely obsessed with helping other people win. And I was saying, this is what I'm doing, listen to this. This is what I'm reading, read this. This is what I'm doing, do this. I was excited about it. I was happy when I saw other people win. What does the law say? Well, Waddles just shared that with us. It's a natural law that like causes always produce like effects. As I was helping other people, people were helping me. The more I help them, the more people help me. The more good I put out, the more good come back. We get into a cycle, and it's the law of circulation. Trower talked in depth about circulation. And our objective is just to put it out. Isn't that what Emerson said? The law of cause and effect was the law of laws. As you sow, so shall you reap. Energy returns to its source of origination. Now, Waddles goes on to say, therefore, any man or woman who learns to do these things in this certain way will infallibly get rich. Now, that statement is true is shown by the following facts. Getting rich is not a matter of environment. See, I wasn't in a particularly great environment. I was in the same environment that I was in when I was losing. He said, if it were, all the people in certain areas would become wealthy. The people of one city would all be rich, while those of other towns would all be poor. The inhabitants of one state would all roll in wealth, while those of an adjoining state would all be in poverty. We frequently see rich and poor people living in the same environment and often engaged in the same vocations. When two people are in the same locality and in the same business, and one gets rich while the other remains poor, it shows that getting rich is not primarily a matter of environment. Some environments may be more favorable than others, but when two people in the same business are in the same neighborhood, one gets rich while the other fails, it indicates that getting rich is the result of doing things in a certain way. Furthermore, the ability to do things in this certain way is not due solely to the possession of talent, because many people who have great talent remain poor, while others who have very little talent get rich. If we study people who have gotten rich, we find that they are an average lot in all respects. It is evident that they do not get rich because they possess unique talents and abilities. They get rich because they happen to do things in a certain way. That is one of the most beautiful truths you'll ever learn. The certain way is by law, and that's what this particular segment of this program is all about. There is a science of getting rich. It's about the law. Getting rich is not a result of saving or thrift. Many very penurious people are poor, while free spenders often get rich. Nor is getting rich due to doing things which others fail to do. Two people in the same business often do almost exactly the same things. One gets rich while the other remains poor or becomes bankrupt. What are you in harmonious vibration with? I have a dear friend of mine, Eli Palmer. Eli Palmer is my physical training coach. When I'm in Toronto, I'm up at 5 a.m. and I'm in the gym at 6. And he's there and he puts me through the paces. He has me stretching and lifting and exercising, and he's got a beautiful business there. Eli is a student of this material. He doesn't just work with the body, he works with the mind. Eli is not only strong from the neck down, he's strong from the neck up. He's got a phenomenal attitude towards people, uh, towards business, and towards growth. But here's the point. Eli Palmer's business is growing to the point it's expanding. And as I'm recording this, he is preparing to move in to a beautiful new gym. At the same time, around five blocks away from him, there is another gym and it's being closed. Eli phoned me here about two weeks ago and he said, you know, you'll never guess what, Bob. He said the gym over and he named the street is closed. 
They put the lock on it. They went bankrupt today. I got thinking about that after I hung up, and I phoned him back, and I said, Eli, there's a great lesson here for you and I and anyone else that's observing what's happening. Well, one person is going out of business, another person's business is expanding. Your business is growing, their business is dying. You're in the same environment. You're only blocks away. You're doing exactly the same thing in exactly the same marketplace. One business grows, the other dies. Eli's business is called Better Bodies. And he not only helps people develop a better body, he helps them develop a better mind. You see, he gives them what he's got. Now, I'm not quite sure what the proprietor of that other gym was doing, but whatever it is, it wasn't in harmony with the law because it went out of business. Now, Wallace Waddles has pointed out, from all these things, we must come to the conclusion that getting rich is the result of doing things in a certain way. If getting rich is the result of doing things in a certain way, then any man or woman who can do things in that way can become rich. And if like causes always produce like effects, the whole matter can be brought within the domain of an exact science, and it most certainly can. When you fall in love with the idea of helping someone else, I guarantee you the universe will reward you.